It's hard to imagine living in the UK and not having heard of Tesco. With over 4,700 stores in the UK and a presence in the rest of the world, it's one of the most dominant supermarkets in the country. As of 2022, it employs over 354,000 people and had a gross profit of around $6.355 billion. This supermarket Goliath shows no signs of slowing down, but where did it all begin? From its humble beginnings as a market stall in Hackney to its current status as a global powerhouse, Tesco has come a long way in its journey to becoming a household icon. But how did this all come to be? Join us as we take a deep dive into the inspiring history of Tesco and uncover the secrets of its success. We'll follow the journey of its founder, Jack Cohen, from his early days as a market stall holder to his bold move to create the Tesco brand. Along the way, we'll explore the key milestones and innovations that have helped Tesco grow and evolve, from the introduction of self-service shopping to its expansion into new markets and industries. So get ready to be inspired as we reveal the fascinating history of this iconic brand. Welcome to the Business Mindset, where we take you through the history of business and explore the greatest entrepreneurs who have had a massive impact on how we do business today. From the earliest traders to modern-day innovators, we delve into the mindsets, strategies, and tactics that drive success in the business world. Join us as we examine the stories of those who have paved the way and learn what it takes to thrive in today's competitive marketplace. Jack Cohen was born in the East End of London, in the bustling neighborhood of Whitechapel in 1898. He grew up at 91 Ashfield Street, in a close-knit Jewish community. His father, of Rome Cohen, was a Polish immigrant from Lodz who worked as a tailor, his mother, Symes Aremba supported the family in any way she could. Jack, whose birth name was Jacob, was known as Jack from an early age. As a child, Jack attended Rutland Street School, where he received a basic education. When he turned 14, he left school to begin his working life as an apprentice tailor to his father. Jack's mother passed away in 1915, and his father remarried a short time later. Despite his love for his father, Jack became estranged from him after a disagreement about his career path. Jack had always dreamed of starting his own business, and he was determined to make his mark in the world, even if it meant going against his father's wishes. In 1917, 19-year-old Jack knew he had to do his part to help his country win the First World War. He had always had a talent for tailoring, and he decided to put his skills to use by volunteering for the Royal Flying Corps. Jack was assigned to work as a canvas maker, creating materials for balloons and other aircraft. He was sent to France, Egypt, and Palestine, and he worked tirelessly to support the war effort. After his harrowing experience in World War I, Jack was ready to put the past behind him and start a new chapter in his life. He had no interest in returning to his father's workshop and instead decided to use the £30 demobilization gratuity he had received to start his own business. Jack spent the money on surplus naffy consumables, which he sold at a Well Street market in Hackney. At each market, traders would gather and race to claim the best pitches. Jack, who was not a particularly fast runner, came up with a clever strategy, he simply threw his cap at the spot he wanted to claim. On his very first day of trading, Jack made a profit of just one pound on sales of four pounds, which is the equivalent to around 40 pound profit on sales of 163 pounds as of 2022. He quickly gained a reputation for offering low prices and the fast turnover, earning him the nickname Slasher Jack. Despite some initial concerns about his credibility, Jack proved that he had what it takes to succeed in the competitive world of retail. As Jack's market stall continued to thrive and grow, he knew he was onto something special. With a keen eye for business and a dedication to bringing value to his customers, it wasn't long before he expanded his operation to include multiple market stalls. In 1924, at the age of 25, he made a bold move that would change the course of his career forever. It was then that he stumbled upon Thomas Edward Stockwell, a tea supplier with a product that Jack knew would be a hit. 
Jack purchased a shipment of tea and repackaged it into smaller, more affordable bags for his customers. He knew he needed a new name for this venture, so he combined the initials of his tea supplier, T-E-S, with the first two letters of his surname, C-O, to create the brand Tesco. On the first day of selling this new brand of tea, Jack sold an impressive 400 pounds in weight, solidifying his reputation as a provider of both tea and value to his customers. As Jack's business continued to thrive in the markets, he knew that he needed to take things to the next level. He had always been drawn to the bustling energy of the market, but he also recognized that it had its limitations. He wanted to create a new type of shopping experience, one that would bring the convenience and accessibility of the market to a more permanent setting. With this in mind, Jack began to envision a new type of store, one without doors, with an open, inviting layout that would make shopping feel more like an adventure. He wanted his customers to feel like they were discovering new and exciting products every time they visited, and he knew that this would require a different kind of approach to retail. And so, Jack made the bold decision to open his first high street shop. It was a risky move, but he was confident in his vision. As he set up shop in the bustling town of Burnt Oak, Jack knew that he was creating something truly special. The shop was a hit from the moment it opened, and before long, people were flocking from all over to experience the unique and exciting shopping experience that Jack had created. Thank you so much for watching the first part of this multi-part success story on Tesco. If you like this content then please let us know in the comments and leave a like. If you want to see more videos like it then you can support the channel by subscribing and be sure to click the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload.